Hey everybody. So the weather definitely has changed and uh, I'm just glad I had this in the car, which it stinks, but um, at least it's something. I didn't expect it to be this cool. So, um, and I leave you all kinds of rambly shit. This is so unprofessional. Anyway, so I wanted to share something with you. And again, like I sit here and I look at all this and it's just, it it is incredible, right? And it's Again, it comes from conscious choice. It comes from being very reflective, which is not an easy thing, okay? Like uh, we hope we can journal and then the next day everything is gonna be perfect and it's not. So I wanted to share this insight I had uh, a while back. And so I left a video a while back as well about um, it's you, right? Like we attract things into our lives. So after my wife passed away, I found myself in a number of toxic relationships. One which was just like a complete shit show, but it actually wound up serving a purpose. At that same time, I had also met somebody that was just really sweet. She was a little mothering, <laughs> but she was very, very sweet. And she would have taken care of me. She wanted things I didn't want, like children and stuff like that. Um, a little younger than me, well, more than a little younger than me. But um, anyway, I realized, you know, hindsight is, is definitely in 2020, but in the moment, if we allow ourselves to detach emotionally and ask ourselves difficult questions, what is this giving me? So what is this toxic relationship giving me? Because there's always a benefit in everything we do. A lot of the times it's unconscious, but if we, whatever we're engaged in, even if it's harming us, there is some sort of benefit internally that is being expressed. So, you know, the toxic relationship, and there was, like I said, there was more than one. So there was this dynamic that was going on and this last one, which was just, it was a complete shit show of lies and deceit and manipulation and everything else you can throw in there, right? So when I looked at it, I realized that that toxic relationship was distracting me from making a commitment to really be in a relationship. So what do I mean by that? You know, like I'm a certain age. Most people I know are in relationships or married or, okay, a lot of them are divorced, but they're dating again and, you know, all that other stuff. So I also didn't know how to be a single person. I was in a relationship for 24 years with my wife. So it was the guise of a relationship, right? There was someone in my life. I had a companion, but it was toxic. And so therefore it wasn't ever going to lead anywhere. And that's what the benefit was. See, when I met my wife, it's very funny. Uh, I told my wife, yeah, I don't want a relationship. I never want to get married. I, I literally want to live on a deserted island. And whether that comes from the way I was brought up and my family and seeing that dynamic, but you know, and she was like, yeah, that's not going to work. And, and it didn't, she was just awesome. So I fell in love with her and we, we got married. But after she passed away and I started reconstructing my life, it would have been odd or it felt it would have been odd to say, oh, I like being alone uh, because my network was couples and this toxic relationship in a way allowed me to have that couple without going down the road of really being committed. And it stopped me from probably winding up with, um, she was Sicilian, uh, this Sicilian woman. So what I realized, and I want you to contemplate is, if you find yourself in situations like a toxic relationship, but it could be a bunch of different things, there is an underlying benefit. So for me, in a way, it was, it was a type of self-protection until I was able to 
say to myself and accept the fact that, yeah, I loved my wife. I loved being in a relationship. I'm a guy that likes to be single and I want to be not necessarily single, but I want my space. I want my time. I want that autonomy. And that goes against a lot of societal norms, right? So you have that weight and you can play the role by being in a toxic relationship but really that toxic relationship could be that you're just trying to avoid relationships avoid committing because really you just want to be independent so i'm just leaving that for you it was a thought that came up as i was finishing up my book which this probably will come out after the book is out. So the book will be on Amazon. It is called Row, The Ultimate Guide to Personal Fulfillment. And you know what? There are so many strategies and tools and case studies and sort of my memoir as well. There's a lot in there for someone that wants to really start to live intentionally. So I welcome you to buy the book and just look at what I do, all right? Take care. Ciao.